Hi, welcome to this episode of Thai Food. In this episode, I'm going to prepare some baked beans for a little cookout I'm having. Um, my go-to choice is Grandma Brown baked beans. Uh, this is made up in Mexico, New York area. And uh, yeah, there is a Mexico, New York. But um, it's basically indigenous to that area. I have a hard time getting these down here in North Carolina. In fact, my mother actually brought these down for me. Um, I tried getting some on Amazon, and believe me, the cost is way too much to make it even worthwhile. So I try to pick these up when I'm in that area, because I really like these myself. And uh, so I'm going to basically use one big can. Uh, this is a 54 ounce can of these. And uh, you can see it's kind of packed in there pretty good. But we're going to add some other stuff to this, and it won't be so thick. Um, a lot of people can, well, I wouldn't say a lot of people, some people, I should say, tend to uh, just, you know, pull these out of the can, bake them up, and there you go. But uh, I've always had them doctored, and that's the way I like them. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to doctor these. We're going to doctor them the way I like them. So just because I do it that way doesn't mean you have to, but I think you should try it. That's why I'm shooting the video on it. So, just going to get all this out. Of course, you know, you could start with your own dried beans and, you know, make some baked beans that way, rehydrate them and all that. But uh, I prefer to just do it this way. And uh, I had pre-opened the can in case you were wondering why it opened so easily for me. Okay. There we are. Kind of spread them a little bit so I can get them mixed. And I got a three-quart Pyrex baking dish here, and that's what I'm going to bake these in. And that way there I've got enough room to bake them. So, to this, we're going to add some granulated garlic. And I'm going to do about two tablespoons of this. There we are. So two tablespoons granulated garlic. And I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. There we are. Got some white pepper here I'm going to add. I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. Alright, now the sweet. I like these a little on the sweet side. Then we're going to top it with some nice salty bacon. So we're going to do two tablespoons of, well it says it's organic maple syrup, but to be honest with you, I don't know any maple syrup that isn't organic. So the fact that they put that on the label just, you know, stupefies me really. But we're going to also add two tablespoons of a black, a back, yeah, black strap, I was saying it right, unsulfured black strap molasses. Basically just two tablespoons of molasses. This adds a nice flavor to these and color as well. And yeah, I kind of have a whole gallon of molasses that I keep on hand. Because I make my own barbecue sauce and I put that in there. And uh, since I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and scrape it out as good as I can. Toss it in the sink. And then I've got some sugar in the raw here. Um, if you don't have this, just substitute some uh, brown sugar for this part. We're going to do two tablespoons of this as well. I 
need my roasted garlic, which I forgot to grab out of the refrigerator. And I got my homemade roasted garlic paste, and I'm going to add a tablespoon of this in. So there's one half tablespoon. I just need one more half tablespoon. There we go. So doing it in two half tablespoons makes it a little easier to mix in for me as well. That's kind of why I did that. There we are. everything mixed in here. I want to make sure I get everything well incorporated and then I'll pat the whole enchilada down and then we'll top it with some bacon and I pre-cooked the bacon um, I don't know if you can see it behind me here I got a sheet tray that I just kind of lined with the bacon and uh, put it in the oven on the top shelf and then after you put it in, you set the oven for 400 degrees and bake it for about 20 minutes to get it to that point. Or you could just put it straight on the beans if you like your bacon undercooked. Um, I like my bacon more of a crispy bacon, so that's why I pre-cooked it. And uh, I'll do it that way to make it for breakfast. And I'll bake it for about 23 to 25 minutes, depending on if it's thick cut or not. If it's not thick cut, which that happens to be thick cut, I would only bake it for about 20 minutes to get it crispy. Um, obviously a couple minutes less if you don't like it too crispy. But uh, like I said, I like crunchy bacon, so that's the way I do it. Plus it gets most of the fat out of there and makes it a little lower in fat for me. But uh, got some baked beans going on here to go with the uh, brisket I got out on my smoker at the moment. And that looks like it's pretty well mixed up to me, so I'll go ahead and flatten these out. And how flat you make them is totally up to you. I get a little OCD with this at times. like everything almost perfect. There we are. Now let's give it a taste. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. Alright, throw that in there. Now we're going to top it with the bacon pieces and strips. And however much bacon you put on is totally up to you. I cooked it up, so I'm going to use it up. And that's all we're going to do for that. And then uh, we're going to bake this in the oven about 350 degrees for 30 minutes. And then we'll serve it. And uh, I haven't preheated my oven at this moment because I'm going to bake it off a little bit later. But uh, we'll get back to you just before I do that. Okay, so we got our oven preheated to 350, We've got our baked beans, we're going to go in there for 30 minutes with them. I'm going to put these on the top rack, just like so, set my timer, 30 minutes, and we'll come back when they're done. Okay, so our timer for our baked beans is done, so we're going to pull them out. And I'm 
going to let these cool off before I try them so I don't burn my tongue. Alright, now that the beans are cooled off enough, we're going to check them here and see how I did. They're still steaming. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Those are perfect in my book. So thanks for tuning in to this episode. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon. And it'll notify you when I upload a new video. I'm on, I'm on Instagram, Twitter. I've got a, YouTube, or a Facebook channel for my YouTube channel. Facebook group. A little tongue-tied here. And, uh, you know, check it out. Thanks for tuning in.